the mass flashers. Well, existing or not, this is what the problem looks like to many people. Sir Keith Joseph, does he exist or not? To discuss the problem, we have with us in the studio four economists, two politicians, my brother-in-law, my auntie, a small packet of fairy snow, a little wheelbarrow, a large rock cod, a piece of... Yes? Bad news, I'm afraid. My wife, she's still with me. No, she's still with me. Oh, I am sorry. Uh, don't worry, it's worse than that. You're getting a bad notice. What? Wally Burr, the television critic, is giving you a bad notice. What's he say? Well, he says he's still watching the programme, but it's bad. Not if this is comedy, I'm a Dutchman's uncle. No, it's worse than that. What, you don't mean dire stuff indeed? I'm afraid so. Well, that's typical, isn't it? You flog your guts out for a quarter of the money you can get on ITV and some spotty little cretin who gets paid for watching television makes smart-ass remarks in his cheapskate, egocentric little column. They come creeping up to you at parties and receptions looking for free funny lines they can stick in their nasty newspapers and trying to get your autograph for their pallid little offspring and next thing you know, they're staying up all night trying to squeeze witticisms like blackheads out of their second-rate minds at your expense. And those female bitch writers with brains in their bums blinking at the box night after night, they're worse than the Wally Burrs of this world. At least he doesn't pretend to be intelligent, which is just as well, as he's stupid, downright stupid. All critics are stupid. It's a stupid, bloody job. And I hate their stupid, mean, stupid, petty, stupid, cheat speak, stupid, hack, journalistic minds. Well done. What? Wally Burr has just said you were magnificent. What? Yes, he's given you a rave. Really? Yes, he said the tirade against the critics in particular was a masterly use of satirical invective. He said that? Yes. Well, you, you know, he's not stupid all the time. You know, obviously, if he's picking up things like this, he's pretty perceptive. Yes, yes. You know, not, not, not all critics are rubbish by any means. Letitia Hunt's just given you a great notice. Really? Yes. Well, well I, I've always thought she was pretty good, actually. I, I've always read her, anyway. Yes, Look, yes. Um, perhaps I... I want to say a word of apology. Maybe I, I did rather overreact there, you know, to criticism. Obviously, there are good and bad critics. Well, they're not necessarily bad critics, you know. Most critics have to be pretty competent, so indeed very intelligent, you know. So please don't uh, take amiss what I said just then. And if you are thinking of doing a write-up, I thank you very much for watching the programme, and we shall be most interested to, to know oh, what you have to say about shut it. shut up, you creep. I thought you were someone to respect. Now look at you. I'm so sorry. Huh, how do you think I feel? What do you think it's like being the little guy week after week? I want to be the tall guy next week. Tall and goyish. You think I like being the only intellectual on this programme? You think it pays any better? <laughs> Goddamn kids. Hardly went behind their degrees writing my lines for me. You think that doesn't hurt? I have to suffer in silence. I'm a writer. I've had plays on. Silence. Silence most of the time with the number of lines he gives me. Well, it's no fun hanging around waiting to do the musical numbers, you know. Look, come on, chaps. Oh, I've shut got up. I've hundreds of numbers I could be doing. Now, Neil, shut please. Up. Here, 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 listen. Why don't we put in for our own programme? So I do Henry's a writer. You could do the you music. Do I used to be an actor once. Can I be in it as well? Oh, yes. yes. Because I gave you your first big break. Come on, we're going to see Aubrey Singer. He's desperate for programme. Yeah, it's too much like fun. Thank you.